because it's because it's giving really much raccoon it's giving it's, it's not giving what it's supposed to supposed to give <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. My name is Shantae for those who are new. In today's video, we're going to be talking all about this unit that I have in my head right now. So if you guys want to know the tea on this unit and if you should spend your coin or not, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get right into the video. So before we jump into it, I just want to say that my eyelashes might look a little wonky in today's video please disregard okay because I, my lash appointment isn't until the 13th and i have like literally three eyelash extensions left on each eye and they will not come off they're holding on for dear life so i have to just put some fake ones you know what i'm saying on top and it's, it's it's giving me a little run for my money you know what i'm saying but i just wanted to tell y'all that just in case so just disregard, just disregard. but i'm still giving you the tea but just disregard the eyelashes okay Okay, cool. Alright y'all, so let's get into the hair specs. Of course, by the title, you know that this wig is from Black Girl Magic Hair Company. Um, this is their 13x4 Brazilian um, frontal deep wave unit. It is 26 inches. The density is 250%. And the price of this wig was $299.99. I did pay for this unit with my own money. They did not send this hair to me, nor is this video sponsored. All right, so let's get into the shipping of it. So I wrote everything down in my, on my iPad, so sorry if I keep looking down. But um, I ordered the hair on January 4th, and I received the hair on January the 8th, so four-day turnaround. Um, on their website, they do say that it is from three to seven working days. And I didn't install the hair until the uh, 20th. So I'm going to show a quick clip of how the hair actually came packaged. actually don't have a clip of me installing the hair saw the girl at like five o'clock in the morning it was a whole soup soup okay but if you want to see how the hair was when i first got it i do have a miami vlog that i uploaded that would be uh, uploaded before this one so if you guys want to see the hair more in depth like vlog style go check that video out okay. today is february the 6th so um i've had this hair for over a month now so uh, let me get straight into it on how the hair actually was when i first got the hair my initial thought was oh my god this is so soft okay i always say that because hair always surprises me because some hair as soon as you open it it'd be like uh-uh <laughs> send it back to sender um it didn't have any smell to it no corn chip smell no factory smell no uh, plastic smell none of that i did actually wash the unit before i installed it and you guys know i love washing my hair with ozzy products this is the ozzy miracle moist shampoo and conditioner so i used both of these to actually wash you know shampoo and condition the hair and then for conditioner i was traveling so i have this travel size um this is the my I think that's how you pronounce it the pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner so it's supposed to be um it's supposed to be a moisturizer and a detangler as well so I use that to style the hair then to actually get the hair to lay down I did use my Fantasia heat protectant spray and as well as my Kendra boutique hot comb so these are this is the only heat that I put on this hair keep that in mind this is the only heat so like I told you guys, I did install the wig on the 20th. So my birthday was the 23rd of January. And I wish that I could say the wig lasted me that long. But um, no, it didn't. <laughs> so um, the first couple of days, so the 20th through the 22nd, the hair was actually pretty good. Um, I got a little bit of shedding here and there. Nothing too major. Nothing that I would be like, oh my God, this is excessive shedding it was normal shedding and of course since this is curly hair i was already kind of being like going into the game like okay i know it's gonna shed so i'm not tripping you know what i'm saying so let's get into when the wig 
turned, you know, took a took a wrong turn. Okay, let's get into it. So, like I said, I installed the wig on the 20th. From the 20th to the 22nd, the hair was fine. Of course, I got a little bit of shedding, but nothing aggressive. It was curly hair. I knew it was curl, you know, curly hair is going to shed. So I already was like, oh, okay, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't really tripping about it because. It's curly hair. It's going to shed, right? By the 23rd, but it was acting a plum ass fool, okay? <laughs> it was shedding so bad to a point where I was just kind of like, all right, cut the act, okay? Um, and I mean, I know personally for me, I know how to work with hair to make it look like something when it's giving me all types of trouble. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm not going to take it out today. We're going to just put some more moisturizer. Maybe it's dry. And then we're going to see. The 24th, girl, I had to take this wig out of my head. I said, maybe I need to wash it. Maybe I just need to, you know, just re just do a restart. Just do a redo. So yeah, so I took the um, hair out of my head. Um, I used the Erica J um, glue. So thank God I um, brought the remover and stuff with me. I had bought it just in case because I didn't know what was going to happen. But I had high hopes for this hair. I really did because all the, the reviews I have saw, like literally all of the YouTube reviews and also all of the Facebook reviews that I was reading, all had good reviews um and i kept seeing this this company pop up so i'm like okay let me just give it a try but like i said it had really 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 good reviews so i was really confused as to where i was going wrong <laughs> um so i did wash the hair um i used the um I had all these packets, girl, because it was like travel friendly. Um, but I used the um, conditioner. I just co-washed the hair and made sure that nothing was, you know, still no residue or anything. Like I just wanted it to be clean. So I did wash the hair. And then um, afterwards, I did let it air dry for some time. And then I went ahead and reapplied it for the remainder of my trip. But during me washing it, I'm going to put a clip right here. It was to a point where I show you guys um, that I was developing a bald spot um, in the back of my head. It's still here. You guys can see that. So yeah, that's not cute. <laughs> so I'm noticing I'm getting this bald spot and then also my frontal is shedding really really bad and i only use 30 volume developer bw2 powder which i always use and i did not leave it on for very long i think i left it on for like 15 minutes the knots lifted pretty well too they were a little bit stubborn but within 15 minutes they did actually lighten and i knew i was going to go ahead and tint the lace anyways so i wasn't tripping about that i use the um even uh, lace tint um to tint the knots so, um i'm picking up the frontal like i'm picking i'm just doing hair from the frontal i'm just like touching the hair just running my fingers through it and girl the hair is coming out of the frontal like what is going on <laughs> so i just gave up on it i was like you know what? i've already washed the hair i've reinstalled the hair i've deep conditioned and detangled the hair um and I'm not putting heat on this hair at all so i'm not sure why it's shedding this bad um so i was like you know what i'm gonna have to do a silicone mix yet again and um we're gonna see if it comes back from that <laughs> but um i went to the beauty supply store because i was out of my silicone mix that i had and i saw that they have a new brand so this one is the moroccan argan oil silicone mix and it looks like this so this one I decided to get because it has the Moroccan Argan Oil and the sil other silicone mix does not. So I was like, well, this is curly hair. So maybe I would need something to give it moisture for it to, you know, snap back. So I did try this one. It, it smells a little bit different. It smells a little bit more fragrancy. Like it has like a little perfume scent in it as opposed to the other one. Um, but can I say that it works the same? I would say it does. So um, if you guys do have curly hair and things are not acting right, um, try this brand. I got it from my local beauty supply store. Um, it was the same price, $6.99. So I did the um, silicone mix method on this wig. And the curls were beautiful afterwards. Um... But even after washing the hair out with the silicone mix, it was still shedding a quite a bit. I'm going to put evidence, receipts, <laughs> right here um, for you guys to kind of watch me washing the hair and strands, strands of hair 
is coming off this unit and since it was shedding so bad still after I did the boiling method I was like you know what maybe it just needs more intense care so I literally slapped the um this thing was full by the way <laughs> the silicone mix thing was full um so I just put like a handful of it lathered the hair up and I just put it in a plastic bag for a couple of hours and just put some heat on it just so it can thoroughly penetrate because I was like this is a $300 wig like am I just gonna throw a $300 wig away I don't want to but like what am I supposed to do here <laughs> after I did that like let it after the boiling and after the sitting in um the silicone mix for a couple more hours um the hair is okay the curl pattern is beautiful it looks really beautiful and it's still full this is 250 density i would not recommend getting any other density but 250 because the amount of shedding that i've had from this wig if i would have ordered anything less than 250 Now from with that all being said, would I recommend this company, would I recommend this wig? And I would have to say no. Um, simply because $300 is not cheap, okay? Um, anything that is abnormally shedding um, is fine. Shedding is gonna happen, I understand that. But if you guys seen, you guys seen those receipts, okay? Um, the way that the hair was just falling out of the unit, what is going on and before anyone does ask yes i did seal the whiffs i did so yeah that is my honest review on this unit um i hope they're a fairly new company um from what i've been seeing and i just hope that if they do see this video that they will just take more time and just thoroughly getting great hair to send out to paying customers yeah that's all i have to say on this unit um like i said before um just if you do purchase this hair if you decide to purchase this hair just be aware of all the things that i mentioned and yeah if you guys have purchased from this um company before let me know your thoughts down below what was your experience i'm interested to know if someone else had the same experience that i did that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did do not forget to give this video a thumbs up Comment down below what you'd like to see from me next. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to the family. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.